What is up everyone, Zane here, and welcome back. In this video we're going to be covering 10 hours of gargoyles, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. So this is the loot that we got from doing the gargoyles. The most noticeable thing about this is that the bulk of the profit actually comes from alcables, things like rune full helms, rune plate legs, and rune two-handers. But they do also drop some decent drops. Aside from that, obviously a few ores and bars and some runes as well. And it all comes out to 7.23 mil in total. With that said though, let's go ahead and get right into the stats. So in terms of experience, there's a few things to mention. First of all, these are very, very decent melee experience, above average for most monsters actually, and you have to factor in that I wasn't on a Slayer task when I did these. On the flip side, the reason why this is so high is because I didn't use a full Guffin set to heal. If you do use Guffins, it will reduce your experience per hour, because Guffins does less damage overall than using a best in slot strength weapon like the Abyssal Bludgeon, which I used. The only other thing to mention about this is I gathered these stats with 85 attack, 95 strength, 84 defense, and 95 hit points at the start, and I ended with the same stats as well. So obviously if you're higher in your strength and attack, you could expect even better results than me, and if you're on a Slayer task, all the better. In terms of the loot, Gargoyles pull in a very respectable 695k per hour. But this really isn't that significant until you factor in the fact that you're also getting above average melee experience as well, so it makes it both an incredibly profitable and incredibly viable training method overall. And again, if you're doing this with similar stats to me but on a Slayer task, you might expect to make a bit more money as well. So they're even better than is being shown here. The only other thing to mention about these as we get into the final slide of the stats is that their drops are incredibly consistent as well as being decently valuable. So you never need to really wait for a big drop in order to average out your GP per hour. You tend to make a very steady flow of income overall. In terms of the method itself, there's a few things to say. First of all, when I first went to do these, I thought I could get away with just using super attack and strength potions, but really you do need the defensive boost, so I started using super combat potions instead, because they do deal quite a lot of damage and they are surprisingly accurate as well, even with really good gear. The best way I found to mitigate this without losing out on experience rates or money per hour was by using a Saradome and Godsword, but if you were to use full Guffins it would be far more AFK. With a Saradome and Godsword I found that I needed to bank roughly every hour to every hour and a half. So use that as a metric if you are going to train here, don't expect it to be somewhere that you can just camp indefinitely unless you're using Guffins. And finally, to briefly summarise what I found for you all, first of all, they're a very steady and consistent profitable money maker. Secondly, they have very, very decent experience rates, above average for most monsters really. Thirdly, they are not as AFK about Guffins, but the Saradome and Godsword can help as a stopgap measure for that. And finally, they are an incredibly viable Slayer monster, but also incredibly viable as a basic training method while being very profitable as well. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if there is anything you'd like to see me cover, feel free to drop me a line down below and I will do my best to make it happen. Although just though, I am working on a bigger project at the moment, so it might take me a little bit longer than usual to get to it. And with that said, I'm out, so I hope you had a nice day, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!